top picks. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. The two sweet gentlemen have brought the top picks line all together. Well, that and Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. We're going to review the full wave. Why not? This is the first time that we're seeing this wave, which, you know what, Braun? Yeah, we're going to get you out. We got, we got a lot of questions about this figure. We're going to answer them today. We got the Balor Boy. We got Seth Rollins again with that sick head scan. And we got a... Jay Styles, the phenomenal one. The phenomenal one, I think my favorite one from the series. We're gonna get my favorite, and by at least by popular demand, by request from the unboxing. This is the one that you guys wanted to take a look at first. This is based off WrestleMania. He took on Shinsuke Nakamura. I like the backdrop on these, you guys. I'm still confused. When I get these figures out of the box, I'm still going like this. I'm still trying to take out a backdrop. <laughs> There's no backdrop. There's no art piece anymore. Again, it's being replaced by additional accessories. Interchangeable hands, parts, belts. AJ does have this one. You guys might have seen this. This one did come with Elite Series 56. I do want to do some comparisons with my favorite AJ Styles figures that we've gotten. Definitely want to do it with the Toys R Us exclusive. And like I said, Elite Series 56, because those still in my AJ collection are still my favorite. The gloves right here, they actually did do the... Like the design right there that you're seeing on the glove, the baby blue right there, that's pretty cool. I like that they did that on both, actually on all four, because there is a total of four gloves right there. We're getting two fists already on AJ, and we're getting two open hands. So for that phenomenal forearm, you're going to need that close fist. I mean, that's usually what I see that in midair. In the midair action, when AJ Styles is about to hit you... He's going to hit you hard, and so is Ringside Collectibles. Again, they're all available on the site. Discount code here will save you 10% at checkout. The vest right here, I like the vest. I actually like the overall time. I like how they captured the baby blue. Like, the, the accuracy as far as the blue, because there is times where they, it's like a hit and miss sometimes when it comes to Mattel and the, and the colors that they utilize. I think this baby blue truly captures AJ Styles for sure as to exactly how he wore the attire. On the left, we got the P1. On the right right there, it is matching on both. And look at this. Check this out, you guys. Pause it. Yeah, you're seeing this right. We are getting knee pads on AJ Styles. Not a very common thing, you know, at least when it comes to the elites. We've seen it on basics, but now we're finally getting knee pads. On, and it's the right knee pad. And they could have just gone with, like, the one that we normally get with Seth Rollins. But no, they actually gave us knee pads, and they gave us the right ones. On the kick pads right there, we got Phenomenal on the right and the number one on this side. The skin right here. It is the most recent one that we have gotten. Wait, was it the black attire? Yeah, it was the black attire. We gotten it with that. And it's, again, it's telling you right there in the box, dude. It says True F. X and I want to take this vest off so you guys can see the tattoo because remember the previous delete did include that um, Before I do though, I want to show you the elbow pad again It's the same p1 logo that we're seeing on the side of the trunk or tights right there The scan right here. I love this head scan dude I still wish at some point I hope you know for the next AJ Styles We do get like a longer hair version because the man's hair. I mean his locks They got to be at least down to like I don't know would you say like right there they're, they're, His hair has definitely gotten longer for sure the birthday it is right there there's his daughter's birthday right there, right down towards the bottom. That's the new one that they introduced in the previous figure. Really awesome AJ Styles. Quick comparison with two of my favorites. Here's one of my favorites, the, was it Elite Series 56 and the Toys R Us exclusive. I do plan on, because I did pick up the top picks, uh, the basic AJ Styles. So I, I do plan on putting that head scan, which is the same thing as these ones right here, onto this one. So it's got, and actually this isn't even the one that came with it. it I think the one that originally came with this AJ Styles had the shorter hair. Really awesome AJ Styles. Love this. Points? Yeah, you're getting a 10, AJ. I mean, one day, I, I, I'm i sure it's going to happen at some point. We'll eventually get the fabric vest. It just, it's a lot easier to take off, you know? I don't know. Like, I like it. I like how they were able to capture, like, the added detail on the vest with the straps right there and all the buttons. But I would still definitely, per would I don't know. That Maybe that's just, I, I'm sure that's a good percentage of you. A lot of people are always talking about that. So, you know, I'm on that same boat with you guys. Would love to see that. I'm gonna, I don't, I definitely do not want to lose these gloves. These gloves right here, they're going in a nice, safe little spot because those gloves, dude, sick. Really love those. Now, Seth Rollins right here. Actually, I want to take a look at Balor because I think Finn Balor, we just got the, was it Elite Series uh, 64 Rollins and that is using the same head scan. So uh, we'll take a look at that one. I want to take a look at this one first, just because I want to do, I want to see if that ringside exclusive, which one is going to work best for that Balor army. I think either or, here's the back real quick before we get them out. 
I think either or work well, but this, I think that the print that they're using on this baller is just a lot better. This is the one that we got with ringside right here. This is that, well, not the jacket. This actually we got, I got from uh, Ralph's Figures Clothing, and I definitely want to use this with this baller because this one does have, let's get, I'll show you. This one does have the interchangeable hands right here. So when you're doing that entrance music, when you're doing like that pose that he gets on the corner of the turnbuckle, these are the right hands for it. This is why hey, it's kind of like John Cena, like the you can't see me. But again, we, you know what? We're going to do it on this video right now. Uh, I'll show you before we do, though. I want to show you the head scan right there. It's just a really, really nice Finn Balor. Dude, best. Best Finn Balor heads. I love this, you guys. I'm telling you. I know we talk a lot about this True FX, but this Balor. What's going on with the... Hold on. I got, oh, hold up. Rewind. Check that out by the... Yeah, it's. I think it's just mine. I think the plastic bubbled right there during production. Oh, man, that's sad. Come on. You sit. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, before I show you the, the with the jacket on, I'll show you the one that actually came with the figure. See, it's the same mold as we got with the ringside exclusive, except the for the arms right here. They are a little bit more vanilla post. They're actually going straight down as opposed to the ringside because the ringside was more like this. It was a little bit wider, but it's the exact same mold on the back right there. We're getting that, uh, what is it, rainbow color on the back of the jacket, as well as on the back of the knee pads and the kick pads. But we gotta put that jacket. I wanna, I wanna do the pose and I wanna take a extra, cause the tights actually do have an added, it's a slightly different added design that we did get with the uh, ringside exclusive on the back right there. The same sign or the same logo that we saw on the back of the trunks and part of my, look at this, what is this? This just came off my jacket. Schmutz. Schmutz is what it is, hero figs. The back right here, check it out. You see how it's got the, the logo right here that we saw on the back. It's carrying on to the tights, as well as on the front, on the corner. But it says Balor. We got the Balor Club, dude. That is like, that's that's like late 80s. That's very, very retro-like for sure for Finn Balor. The jacket. Let's get this jacket off the ringside exclusive. And let's get those hands on there. Let's get pop these ones. Up. Come on, go and fight. You got to fight it a little bit. Some of these are a little bit tighter. Especially when you pop them off for the very first time. They are a little bit more of a struggle. Once you get them broken in, though, that's one thing I've noticed about these interchangeable hands. Once you get them broken in, they just, yeah, they pop out real. I mean, they won't fall out. Like if you're having like an action figure match or you're posing him they're not gonna fall out on you they still stay in place pretty well but as far as like interchanging them it just gets a little bit easier as the, the more times you interchange it look at this we got one where's that other one we're doing it man i'm telling you we are doing it right now we gotta plug it in so when you do the pose check it out look at this whoa whoa <laughs> see you can't do that with the jacket you can't do that with this jacket at least but with this one yeah dude yeah we're gonna put this on the corner of the ring gonna get a nice little pick up oh that's gonna be wicked man so awesome love that I, the John Cena ones, I was a big fan of those and seeing them on Balor. I think I'm getting more, uh, definitely getting more of a kick out of the, the Finn Balor than the actual John Cena. Now, Seth Rollins, get your boy out. Let's get Seth Rollins over here. The man, the architect that is coming with two titles in WWE and in Mattel figure form. Burn it down. No, this is Monday Night Rollins. What are you talking about, Hero Figs? There, there is no Monday Night Rollins shirt, though, on this one. I do have it, so at some point, definitely want to add it to this figure. I think that would look wicked. Here's the belts. Getting the IC title again. And we're getting the Raw title. I'll bring it up close since it's still in there, nice and secure for you. For all those that are new to the channel and are seeing these belts for the first time, there it is. They're pretty clean. The, you know what's really clean about this attire? It's that knee pad. For the hands, real quick, I'll show you guys the hands. Um, the, the ones that are already on the figure themselves, they're actually already close-fisted. And the interchangeable ones for these ones are the open hands. Now, I do like the pose. I mean, if you plan on keeping this like in the box, I like how they had this. I just, uh, that's beautiful. That's just lovely. That is amazing. Like how, how Mattel sometimes displays their figures. Most of the time, I, I did start noticing that they have gotten back into that. They started posing the figures for the mod collectors. They started keeping the figures in a certain pose. And obviously you can't have them hold it with a too close fisted. So it's good that we are getting those interchangeable ones. Really awesome. Here's the attire, you guys. The... Attire that I'm seeing right here, I do see some slightly differences. We did make this one uh, as far as like a custom, and I'm going to grab that one for you real quick. Here's the custom version of it. As you can see, it's different. Uh, the, for the one that I use, I did still went ahead and added the design right here. It's not a design, but the straight gray. It's like a, it's a really, really dark gray. It's what it is. On this one, what they did is that, well, they didn't acetone it, but they didn't actually print it when they produced the figure. As you can see, it's just a solid black. How do I feel about that? 
I don't I'm not dig I don't like that. I think that they should have definitely included the line work right there. As you can see on this one on the custom, that's right. This is what we should have gotten. The belt right here. I mean the belt, it's basically the same. I didn't ask to tone the belt. I just went based off the one that had already come. I think it was Elite Series. I can't remember. I think it was a fairly recent Elite that I used for, for this one right here. But yeah, it's big that's a big thing for me, man. I, that's that's really bothering me. I mean it's nice that we at least we got the that's, I mean, that's when you're going to be posting the figure, that's the thing that's going to stand out the most. I mean, it's really, really hard to pick this up. Even in the light, you can barely tell that there is even any kind of gray in there. I also did it on the knee pads and kick pads. As you can see, uh, on the knee pads, it stops right there where the line work stops. And on the kick pads, it's only on the front. So that's a big thing that it's missing that. Now for the head scan, again, it's the same one that we did see with his most recent one, Elite Series 64. It is identical to the point, like... To, to the nose, I mean, to the head, to the head scan itself right there, there is no differences. And this is, this is the best Seth Rollins head scan. In my personal opinion, this is my favorite head scan that we've gotten for Rollins. Still really, really nice figure. There is the SR logos right there on the actual wrist strap, so that's pretty cool. And it, there is, that, what you're seeing right there in the middle, that's not a paint flaw. That's actually how he had it. He had, he had some like, a, it was like a black line strap going across the SR logo on both, so really nice overall i'm gonna you know i'm giving this a, a seven i'm sorry the head scan is awesome the attire is kind of semi and you can actually see it on the box itself you see how like you can see parsh it's like partially gray right there and then on the front it's just a solid black it's not a gray it's like a really 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 dark it's almost black so i can see why mattel might have done that but it's still it is bothering me and what that is the, the one that is definitely bothering me for sure is this braun Strowman. i mean the figure is it is a great figure if you didn't if you missed out on elite series 58 this is a great opportunity, but the thing is, is that it's bothering me just mainly because of the fact that it's the exact same figure as Elite Series 58. You see how there is literally no differences. Here's here's the one that we got with Elite Series 58. They didn't even give us the updated boots that we got with the, with the most recent. I mean, the sculpt work is, is, is right there. The head scan, it is the open screaming head scan, but using the true FX. So really, the, the main differences between this and what we saw with this one is the true FX, the, the 3D print, and also the interchangeable hands. You're getting the open hands, and they are slightly big. I'd see, it looks like they are. Yeah, they, they might be. I did do a fix-up on mine, so I'm pretty sure that this one right here is the same ones. Is it? Hold up. Yeah, you, they are bigger, so that's good. So you can definitely get rid of those little Burger King hands. These hands right here, these are the right hands that we should have got. I don't know why, because if you if you really sit down and think about it, the very first Braun Strowman figure, the Elite that we that we had gotten when he was with the Wyatt family, those hands were accurate. So I don't know why we, they went back to like the small hands right there. So again, Elite Series 58. It's I really can't like I'm not gonna get like into full on detail with it because I feel like this is an exact same review of that figure and even the accessory. There's old trusty Lance right there on the side right there. But as far as the overall ranking, you guys, AJ Styles for sure he's gonna rank number one in the wave. There's no doubt about that. I'm gonna give it to Finn Balor for number two. This Balor right here is gonna do a lot if you guys are into making like any demon Balor like custom attires that battle is going to work great for that Rollins you would have been ranked higher I think I think you know what had they added that gray design right there on the side of the tights I think you would have ranked higher than um than Finn Balor and last man you guys know why <laughs> definitely least Braun Strowman and he's, he's not even going to stand on me hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one